Hi everyone, it's Eva Piacek here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I want to talk to you a little bit about our blueprint around money. And do you treat money as your best friend? Or maybe you have non-productive thoughts or deep-rooted beliefs around money that actually repel it from you. And I want to share with you my personal story. When I was growing up, I grew up in a Catholic family where I didn't think I am I deserve to want a lot. I mean, I thought my beliefs were I should give everything to everybody else and I shouldn't want too much. To the point that when I was growing up, I had two brothers and they had their own space in the house and I was like, I don't need much. I was just like flo floating in between. And it took me a lot of time to learn from Bob Proctor that wanting more is actually a good thing. When you want more in your life, you are stepping into creating more, not just for yourself, but for others. And today is such a beautiful proof of this because I just received this lovely gift in the post. It's a gift from Unstoppable Foundation, which maybe you might be aware of, maybe not. It is also connected with Bob Proctor. Unstoppable Foundation is a, is a charity which supports children in Kenya and India, helping them receive education. And it's not just supporting them to go to school, because there is many charities that support children going to school, but it takes care of all the areas of their life and their family's life so that they can actually receive education and have prosperous future for themselves and for their families. So the charity is supporting for them to get clear water so that the kids don't have to go and fetch the water from some sort of springs. It's supporting medical treatment for the entire family. It's educating the parents how to earn money, how to grow their own crops and produce foods. It is supporting them from bottom to the top so that they really understand they really are able the kids not only have the school to attend to but they can actually be there present receive the education and then have better future and part of this charity is also to um, supporting uh, colleges they've created colleges where um, where um, students not only receive education, but also they are studying thinking into results, Bob Proctor's th thinking into results, and creating mindset and uh, strategies for their future. And why it's so special is because when I was growing up and I didn't think I want too much, I wouldn't be able to contribute to a charity like this. So just last year in 2020, I was able to sponsor a village of 70 children to have an education for about a year, and that is $25,000. And I was also able to sponsor a salary of a girl who is going to be a microloan manager locally back in Kenya, where, uh, where a female entrepreneurs starting their own business can apply for microloan finance and can actually have that chance to start their own business. And I was able to sponsor her salary for a year, which was another 12 and a half thousand. And all of that in 2020, when we are dealing with this global madness that is happening everywhere. And to be able to do so much good, I mean, this really touches my heart to see this today. And there's some beautiful pictures inside what they're doing and how they're progressing. And to be able to contribute to this community just gives me a lot of joy. But for Eva, who didn't think she wants much or she deserves to have much, that would not be possible. So what's actually changed? Well, I, I've learned that wanting more um, is actually a good thing. And I've also learned to look at money as something good. You know the way um, when you're growing up, maybe you hear things like money is going to change you or people who have money are probably tricking others into having money and they're using other people uh, or money is God to them or whatever. I had to change all of that and I had to create positive empowering beliefs about money that allow me to attract more and then I'm able to do a lot more good for myself, for my, uh, for my loved ones, for my clients, my team and 
charities like this one all over the world. So I've created um, a lovely belief, which is one of my biggest beliefs, that money is my best friend. Money is a tool. Money is not God. Money is tool, but it's a very important tool to help you create a lot of good. And my one of my biggest beliefs is money is my best friend, and it helps me the more money I have, the more good I can do for myself, for my loved ones, for charities, communities, clients, and the world. And I want you to really think about how well do you think about money? Do you feel money is your best friend or do you have any non-productive beliefs around money? Because whatever your feelings are around, around money is either attracting or repelling uh, money to you. And that is not just like, you know, you're sitting on the sofa and money is coming to you. When you have non-productive beliefs around money, you're repelling, you're literally not able to do the actions, the marketing and sales strategies that will allow you to receive money. You will find yourself being sabotaged, procrastinating, fearful, having tons of doubts, and you won't go out there on these sales calls, uh, Facebook lives, and all of that to promote your services and your products and attract customers. Or you may simply not even start, like you may not even start a business because that would might have might lead you to more income. And if you have non-productive money blueprint, then you wouldn't even take that first step. So today I want to really challenge you on what do you feel about money? Like just think about when I say money is my best friend, how does that feel to you? Does that feel, yeah, totally, money is my best friend too? Or do you feel, oh, okay, there's something wrong with that? And if you have the latter, then check in in terms of do my money beliefs serve me? Because everything you deeply feel or think about money, uh, well, first of all, it's made up because money doesn't have any positive or negative meaning. Money is simply a tool of exchange. So, you know, the, the cash, the coins, the, 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 the bank cards doesn't have any positive or negative meaning. But when you are purchasing uh, groceries from a shop, you are receiving products and you are exchanging cash for it. When you are delivering service or products, you are receiving cash for it. Money is simply energy of exchange. But we've learned throughout our lives by being surrounded by tons of non-productive beliefs about money, with our environment, our families, our teachers, um, our colleagues, five people closest to us, whatever their beliefs about money is, you are going to, you are very likely to absorb some of that. And maybe in your mind, there's some non-productive blueprint around money that you really want to take a close look at and eradicate. Because if you find that when you hear me saying money is my best friend, and you feel off, it is guaranteed you need to look at your money beliefs because if you want to earn more, well, then that is the very thing. 95% of your earnings is coming from your mindset, which is your deep-rooted beliefs and your habits around money. So hope that gives you some food for thought and um, you're going to be able to assess where you're at and start thinking more productively about your income so that your financial beliefs are matching what you desire to earn and the good that you want to deliver in the world. Because the more money you have, the more you can contribute, not just to charities, to your family, to your uh, clients, expanding your team, paying their salaries, giving people jobs. There's so many good things that you can do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous, prosperous week. Take care.